All right, so we finally get to see Flan's Pichu. Uh, I remember, I remember um, somebody talking about his Pichu, saying that he got carried by Pichu. So I bet it, I bet it must be promising then. So looking forward to seeing what his Pichu can do. Now, all right, so. Both getting their early to mid percent. Wow, just went from 80 to death right there with that F smash. Pretty strong option, it looks like. Oh, Kevo trying to go for that side B, that sweet spot, but not quite finding it. Wow, catching him with the down smash. Jab not quite the option to, to punish. But looks like Fawn. Ooh. See if he can find that kill. How does Fawn lead into the smash? So I think, I think that may be Pichu's main method of killing. Oh wow, he almost, he almost led into that second thunder. Might have killed. Fun getting pretty decent. Let's see. Wow, oh, actually, Kevo catching him right there with the down smash yet again. Down smash seems to be the bane of Fun's <laughs> little little rodent existent right there. It's because uh, it covers a lot of ground, and Pichu Pichu really thrives off of being hard to hit. But that large ground area coverage is going to hit him like most most every time. So that down smash helping that, that down smash pull by Kevo earlier really coming coming in handy for him. He's getting a pretty decent lead, but it's still anybody's game at this point. <laughs> a fun oh is that the, I'm a, oh my gosh. I honestly thought that might have might have been it, but not quite. Just bar barely living on. Both trying to play very safe at this point. Uh, Pichu probably gonna. Oh, I was gonna say look for F tilt, but Kevu managed to scoop him up. All right, Kevu scooping him up with a smash attack. Every stock that set it looked like. I mean that set that game. Let's see. All right, but the Flan definitely, definitely not down and out. Was very close to getting that one. Uh, still in this set. Let's go ahead and see some adjustments he can do to, to go ahead and close out these sets, not get scooped up by those smash attacks. Get some pretty strong combos to start off with. That Nair seems so strong, and it sets up for a jab lock into F smash. Seems to be his go-to. Oh, he, he pulled that off last game too. But getting stuffed out by that F smash though. Fun. Trying to find, trying to get some extra damage right here. Oh, here we go. And he's starting to find his early, his juggles, his mid percent juggles right here. Wow, this is turning into a pretty good lead for Juan. Once once he holds that stock, that's when it becomes a lot harder for Kevo. Has not yet gotten scooped up by a smash attack, except for now. So just finally got that scoop, that smash scoop that, that Kevo was looking for. But is it too little too late? Or can Kevo bring this back? Um, 
see. That F tilt's so strong, too, from Pichu. Looks like... Oh, wow. Uh, searching for those down airs a little bit. Or maybe any aerial, it <laughs> looks like. Fun just kind of searching for aerials in general. Even though, even though he should probably be looking for a kill. There we go. The up tilt, that'll do it. I, I guess that's what the aerials are for. Give him, give him so he could up tilt him from center stage. <laughs> Kevo trying to uh, trying to cover some land. Oh, but the SD, unfortunate right there. Fawn taking that, uh, looking looking pretty solid because of that early SD. <laughs> so, yeah, looks like looks like going to game three. Fawn definitely, definitely not even close to being down and out. In fact, it looks like Fawn may even have the advantage if he can avoid getting scooped up by Kevo's uh, smash attacks. If he can just avoid those, uh, those up smashes and the forward smash or the down smashes, then, I mean, I, and I, it looked like he was doing a pretty good job at, at adapting around those smash attacks to, as well. So. If he could just keep keep that up, keep up that valiant effort of just playing around with smashes. Um, looks like he's got some pretty good kill options as Pichu. He's got he's got that F tilt at high at late percent. He's got you know he's got that jab lock jab lock setup. So, but let's see if Kevo could do anything to adapt to to all these kill options. Game three right here. Town and city of the choice. Let's see what Kevo can do with these town and city platforms. Making some use of them right there already. But not finding much off of that sharking. Oh, trying to go for that jab lock. The, <laughs> the mix-up side B all the way off stage, definitely not something you'd expect. Almost closing it out with that side, that forward smash, but... Kebu, uh, every now and then going for that side B mix-up mix from, from when he's grabbing on ledge. Oh, by occasionally, I mean very occasionally. That up tilt actually taking it right there. He just kept throwing it out and it finally hit. Ooh, landed, la actually landing the sweet spot that time though. Um, attacking on that 28%, that quick 28% before his demise. Ooh, that would have been that would have been pretty scary right there to get scooped up that time. Oh, Kevo Kevo fiending a little bit for these smash attacks. If he happens to find one, it's gonna be pretty bad news for, for Fawn. But so far Fawn's been doing a pretty good job at playing around them. Ooh, but these up tilts seem to be doing some pretty good work versus Fawn. Uh, it comes out pretty fast, and he can also he can use the up tilt as both a way to bait Fawn in to try and punish, and also to like stuff out his approach. So it's like, oh, you're gonna try and uh, land into me, up tilt your ass. Excuse me. Back throw, that very strong move. Definitely gonna get, take that one. It was at 160, of course, at the wedge. But um, Fawn definitely, 
definitely can bring it back. Just needs to get maybe like a little bit of confirm. He almost had him with that uh, back air into into forward tilt. That's what it looks like what he's been searching for a little bit right now. But Kevo Kevo played it safe enough, um, avoiding all these back air, all these aerials. Um, <gasps> whoa! Almost scoring an early kill with that back air. Kevo, wow! Just like that, just like that, uh, gaining all that momentum toward the end.